This is a complete game changer, not just because of the emission saving, not just because of the fact it's a win-win for taxpayers, but something that's really exciting, just by its nature, ferries are bigger, they have a lot of space on board, they give the ability to have this multimodal transport, get active life, people can put their bike, they can cycle down to the marina in Bangor, they can get off here and cycle to work, it can make you active, it can be a real part of a wider transport network, not the only solution of course, but a critical part of the transport network that encourages us to walk and really importantly gets rid of those emissions. When you're on board it's going to be quiet, it's going to be smooth, but maybe when you're off the boat and you're looking at it from the shoreline, the big thing you'll notice is a lack of wake. A normal boat going down the harbour here is crashing the waves into the shoreline, damaging the shoreline, hurting, hurting the marine life. With this boat, as it flies above, literally, there'll be a thin line with no wake behind it. I think the other thing is, one of the real advantages of the foiling ferries is its operation window in terms of sea conditions is much wider. It's steady in all sea states. People aren't going to be bumped around by waves. We can go in all the time. So a ferry service here in, from Bangor to Belfast would go every half hour, every half hour, and they would get that reliability. I think in a couple of years' time, when that spaceship goes flying down Belfast Harbour, the eyes of the world are going to be on Belfast.